don't be sad. Hmm? Let's read. Wow. Read for fun. Hi, kids. Welcome back to Read for Fun. I'm Miss Soraya, and I'm the voice behind the books. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Kern's class from San Antonio, Texas. Thank you so much for watching our read alouds. Please do keep on watching. Now, let me give you a background of today's read aloud. It is a very funny, super hilarious story. You will definitely laugh out loud. This is about the character named Finn, and he is Finn the Frog. Yes, and he made a huge mistake. What mistake did he make? Let's find out. Make sure to read along with me because at the end of the story, I have four comprehension questions for you. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Hi, kids. Welcome back to Read for Fun. Today's read aloud is This Book is a Mistake. Written by Ron Karras. Artwork by Arthur Lynn. Finn loves being a frog, but he thinks it's time for a few upgrades. His reader exhibits true artistic talent earning the green light to make alterations. Will Finn regret handing the crayons over to a kid? Hiya, kid. Finn the Frog here. But you probably already know who I... What did you just do? Did you doodle on my page? Okay, listen. Maybe you're new around here, but I like my pages to be clean. The only person who's allowed to draw on these pages is my illustrator, Mr. Lin. Got it? Actually, that's not too bad for a kid your age. Yeah, you're pretty good. You know, this is my third book. And I'm getting a little tired of playing old Finn. Don't get me wrong. Mr. Arthur is great. But I don't think a few changes could hurt. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Yes, get those crayons out. You can do it, Finn. It's just some color. Pages are meant to have color. It will be okay. I didn't think I'd be this nervous, but it's a good kind of nervous. I'm excited, I think. Yes, I'm excited. I'm sure of it. Let's do this. I've always wanted to look stronger. These arms are so thin. I can barely see them. You think you could help with that? Whoa, not bad at all. A little uneven, but look at these muscles. Nice. If only my big brother Fred could see me now. I feel like I could lift one of those African bullfrogs over my head. Hey, let's keep this going. How about my eyes? I've never had the best vision, and I think I'd look pretty good with glasses. Don't you? Can you draw some on for me? Superb! These glasses will be able to spot flies from miles away. I don't have a mirror, but they look good, don't they? Woohoo! This is awesome! Okay, this next one is going to sound weird, but I have always dreamed of having some hair. Nothing too fancy, just something to add some style. This hair feels interesting. <laughs> hey, why are you giggling over there? Does the color match my shade of green? Never mind. 
Let's continue. Who? Muscles, glasses, hair. I must look really impressive now. Only, this is kind of embarrassing. But people are always laughing at my little frog bottom. Do you think you could give me some pants? Humans do seem to love them. Thanks, kid. There's no way they laugh at me now, right? These pants are quite comfortable, but a bit too long. Oh, just make me a little taller. I've always been the shortest in my family anyway. Oh, my brother is going to be so jealous. Oh my heavens, too tall, too tall. The ground is so far away. I'm getting dizzy. Please give me something to sit on before I fall. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought being different would make me happy. But I was wrong. I don't even feel like a frog anymore. I feel strange. It feels wrong. I made a mistake. I wish Mr. Arthur was here. I know he could do something to help. Mr. Arthur, you're here. I really made a mess of myself. Please, can you fix me? I realize you know what's best for me now. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just so glad to be me again. And look at these sweet shoes. Now I am a little taller. You're the best. Say, kid, I've been through a lot today. And I've worked up quite the appetite. Do you think you could draw me a big, juicy fly? Mm. Too big! Erase it! Erase it! Please! This isn't funny! <laughs> Mr. Arthur, help! The end. Now time for some comprehension questions. Question number one. Who is the character in the story? A. The Toad B. Finn the Frog or C. Mr. Arthur The correct answer is B. Finn the Frog Number 2. How did Finn feel about getting an update? A. Scared and sad. B. Curious but mad. C. Excited but nervous. The correct answer is C. Excited but nervous. Question number three. What kind of update did Finn ask for first? A. Muscles, B. Eyeglasses, or C. Pants. The correct answer is A. Muscles. Question number four. When Finn wasn't happy with the updates, what did he ask to have at the end of the story? A. Pants. B. Fly. C. Hair. The correct answer is B. Fly. Did you like the read aloud? Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. 
Thank you for watching. Come back for more fun stories here on Read for Fun.